both of us, obviously, we're, we're brothers, um, grew up on the southeast side of Grand Rapids. Our, our mom is white, our dad is black, raised in a, um, in a poor neighborhood, but also having the privilege of going to private schools. And so we always lived in these two worlds. In 2014, when the Forbes report came out about Grand Rapids being the second worst place for African Americans in terms of economics, I think that was really the nudge for us that it was time to do something a bit different. And so out of that came this place of creating relationships between nonprofits and for profits and community organizations to all kind of live into this larger 10 year vision that we call the Grand Rapids Center for Community Transformation. We have a whole host of things that we do, and our latest uh, is called the 1530. I would drive by this building, I think both of us, for, for, for years, uh, as well as the building across the street. And just, they had been abandoned and kind of sitting and wasting. So we took something that was dirty, unused, and we turned it into um, a beautiful space. Now with this venue, we can truly be that gathering space that brings together different races, people from different backgrounds, um, different sectors, different industries. Late 1800s, uh, this was uh, Hanley School Furniture Factory. Later in the 50s, it became a Spears Lumber Yard for a long time. Well, the floor is original, you know, it's a 120 years old. Uh, you're walking on history. The beams, I think uh, it was important for us to keep those. A lot of the work was done by people in this neighborhood. You can have inside outside space, which is um, very unique. It's all ADA accessible. We have a state-of-the-art AV system, commercial-sized kitchen, and the biggest one is free parking. <laughs> I am proud of the bar. It's called like a river table bar. I've only seen probably one or two of them. It's just a real cool thing that I think people are gonna remember, and our construction team made it. I love the rooftop. There's something about being on a rooftop deck, a green roof, and overlooking your city. Many people never get that kind of privilege, and there's, there's definitely not any in our neighborhood. There's no green rooftop decks. The bricks that were laid actually make out the skyline of Grand Rapids. We're building a uh, kind of a wine, coffee type of bar in the back, so that's a cool feature to come hopefully in the next few months. I've had so many uh, folks drive by and you know and stop in and say, wow, I didn't even know this existed. Everything here was built with a lot of intention and purpose, and we hope to be a showcase of community talent. We want to invite people into something that's much bigger than themselves, and so you're not just holding, holding your wedding here, you're actually helping to hire people from the local community. You're actually investing dollars into this neighborhood that has been severely divested from. Um, you're actually bringing a sense of vitality and healing to the city just by purchasing our services and using our venue and showing up. And so, you know, we're, we're excited about how we can reimagine business and reimagine our city.